My name is Faith Igbene. I'm from Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Mm, I had polio as a child. The polio affected uh, depends on the individual. Uh, for me, polio affected the use of my legs. I went to school. I went to Ivioto Primary School in Opa. Then I went to school for the physically handicapped. And um, I also went to Ihobe Secondary School, Ihobe College. I went to Idia College in Edo State. It was tough. It wasn't easy being um, physically challenged in Edo State. I remember going, getting on to bus stop. The bus wouldn't stop because if you can't get on the bus, and you know, literally, people just look at you with you know this look and like being disabled or having this disability is just um it's a taboo it's a you might infect them with your disability i remember in primary six i asked i skipped many primaries and uh, yes in primary six I wrote the final year exam. I managed to skip through. I went to secondary school. I moved. Then I moved to live with my my grandfather, um, my grandmother now in Ihogbe. So in Opa, I stayed with my grandfather. And in Selu, I stayed with my parents. This time, I went to live with my grandmother, my mother mom in um, Ihogbe, in Off Wire Road. So there I went to secondary school from Ihogbe, I went to Ijia College, which wasn't easy. When I left school, I left school in SS1, I didn't complete my secondary school. So I discovered that I could uh, do sport. So I, that was through my friend Francis, he was in Salvation Army then. So, in between, I stayed in Salvation Army for a year to enable me to go to school. But I couldn't afford, you know, the fees and everything. So, I came back home. I started training, going to stadium, Ogbe Stadium in Edo State. And so, I, yeah, that was it. That was how I, I did sports for few years 95 10 year 2000 so yeah um yeah that was it i did sports and i travel and see to sydney where i win the the same the bronze medal it's not easy being physically challenged and not being able to be basic you know to do basic thing in life Without this, my chair, I wouldn't be able to get up in the morning to just do the basic thing. Even being a mother, this chair helped me a lot to get about. And to, I remember raising my baby, my daughter, it is because of this chair. I hold on my arm and I can go anywhere I want to go, just like every other person. But if, if I don't have the wheelchair, I will be bed bound, I will be indoor. And I'll be wasting away. At the moment, I am trying to um, raise phone for somebody, a friend, a very dear friend. He's physically challenged and uh, he's a very outspoken man. He's um, in a in a dual state and. He has a lot to offer to the society, but being, um, yeah, he has a lot to offer. So at the moment, um, we're trying to raise funds for uh, Tony in Hile down here through GoFundMe. We're trying to set up a GoFundMe to enable him to buy a wheelchair. Recently, he reached out to me and said 
you want to buy a wheelchair, electric chair like mine. So we we haven't we have been able to we found the a wheelchair but Tony don't have the money to buy this chair. So that's why we decided to set up a good family for Tony to help him buy the chair. Um is there anything else people can do to help you? Yeah, people can actually share the video. Nothing is too small, nothing is too big. Please, anything you have will go a long way. Please help us to enrich our goal of um, we need to raise at least 700 pounds. That's our goal, 700 pounds. So please, if you come across this video, help Tony to achieve this goal. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.